Hello, everybody, and welcome to a conversation with artist Yvette Meltzer. Hello, Yvette. Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining us during this strange shelter in time. We are using these interviews as a means for the public to get to know a little bit more about you when they see your work in the Evanston Made group show. So tell us a little bit about what you submitted. Oh, it was a hard decision to select just one photo, but um, I chose the photo of a member of the Cuban National Ballet who I saw on the streets of Havana. And she agreed to stop for us to take photos of her. Was and she taking a break from rehearsal? Is that why she's in the doorway? Um, yes and no. I mean, it was kind of that someone knew her and we had Cuban contacts and um, they knew where she was gonna be. So we went to find her. She's so beautiful and her tutu top is just absolutely gorgeous or ballet costume I should say um and what are you working on right now what is consuming your art practice these days well um for the last month I've been involved in finishing a project called for something called the yellow rose which is going to be released in August in conjunction with the 100th anniversary of the women's right to vote the 19th amendment Nice. And so um, a number of photographers are part of this group that are putting together what will be a web page and hopefully a book too, because um, it was a really a great opportunity to be creative and I enjoyed, I mean, I had to change what I initially thought I was gonna submit because I wasn't able to go out and take those photos. So I made a, um, playground in my backyard and I was out there on as soon as the light was great I was out there creating um composites and had a lot of fun with it and why the yet why is the project called the yellow rose that's a good question um it's not like the yellow rose of Texas suffragette okay because I was like does that have anything to do it does have to do with the suffragettes absolutely okay. the yellow rose was a symbol of the suffragettes okay that is the short answer. Okay, well, um, that's fun that you have a project. How are you doing um, during this shelter in time with having to be so involved with humans over the internet? Are you like totally cut off or, from humans and happy about it? Mm, I can't say I'm happy about it. I'm content though. I mean, <laughs> I feel very fortunate. I'm privileged. I mean, I have a comfortable home. I have plenty of space. I have food. Um, I have a supportive spouse who's been doing a lot of the housework while I've been creating. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> so in that regard, yeah, you know, but I do miss in-person connections with people, with other people. But you're able to work on a project, which is so nice because I, some artists are like, Right now, I just can't bear to make. And then other artists are like, I dug up a project that's 10 years old that I haven't touched. Oh, it's just so yeah. nice to have something to work on. I love it. And I'm also, um, I've started doing more process painting because I have the time. Nice. So I've set up a, um, an area in my studio for painting. And process painting is using tempera paints. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually once a week doing a Zoom process painting with some other process painters around the country. And we wow. meet two and a half hours. So and when all this is over, will I be able to come to your studio and see the work? Oh, sure. You can see it. But um, process painting is not for product. It's really, it's a, I love it. It's a fabulous creative process. It opens up creativity and intuition. And what I'm doing now, it's right here. I can show oh, you. Good. Yeah, show us. I can't say anything about it. That's one of, the, one of the guidelines is you can't say anything about anybody else's work because it's- yeah, I won't say anything. It's not product, but- I'm Italian and I'm very chatty. You can see it. Ooh. That's so, fun. It's a whole, it's big. <laughs> You can see. What are you on the ground when you're painting? No, I hang it on the wall. Ah, it's incredible. 
But what I love about this, and it's so perfect, I actually started this painting in April and had set it aside. And um, what I was, it was at the time that Ivan Albrecht had an exhibit at the, um, not this April, April a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And I started it at a, in Osreen's studio. She let the process painters rent her space. Oh, yes. And I started it and I was working on my aging, you know, I just wanted to try and depict that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing now. I don't know if you can see my face there, but it's like that's aging nice. in place. You see all the little... Yep, yep, yep. Oh, thank and you for sharing that. It's perfect for this time, you know, where we're aging in place. Right, and we're spending a lot of time looking at ourselves and our walls, and it's, it's nice to have that moment to study. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah. Talk a little bit about your background as an artist, a photographer, a painter, a, you know, multi-talented mm -hmm. person. Well, uh, thank you for asking. I mean, I've just, I've always been um, attracted to the arts from the time I was just so very little and I loved my little set of watercolors and even my Crayolas and um, I had a copper enamel set and, mm -hmm. And then I had a small camera that my dad gave me and I used to love taking pictures of the family. And um, I took a lot of pictures of family and then friends and my friends now from child, people I knew back then always are remarking how I was the only one who ever took, you know, had photos of everybody because I always loved taking photos, but it was for fun, you know. Um, and then I don't know how or why, but like, when I was finished with college, I finished graduate school and I decided I wanted to get a better camera. And I bought my first SLR at Single Lens Reflex at Central Camera downtown Chicago, the one that just burned down mm -hmm. on May 31st. And um, I was living in Mexico at the time, which is an artistic paradise. Mm -hmm. And I just started taking, it was black and white. I don't know. I just, that's what, maybe because I, it was easy to travel with a camera and, you know, moving around and stuff. It just, I didn't have to carry a whole thing of oils or temper paints or any of that. So I just, I was drawn to photography. I always wanted to record what I saw, the beauty around me and people around me. So I kind of subscribed to, well, John Lennon said that, um, oh, how did he say it? Everybody's an artist um, until someone tells them that they're not. <laughs> yeah. Right. That, that happened to me actually when I was in high school. And I, you know, I loved arts and I have to say, I did not get any encouragement from my family. I mean, they never said, oh, we'll send you to classes or do anything to encourage me. And so um, on my own, when I was 14, I took my babysitting money one summer and signed up for a class at the Art Institute. <gasps> That's so fancy. It was a drawing class. And then my dad, I told my family, my dad said, well, how much was that class? And I said, $15. He said, well, that's a lot of money. And so um, then I was in the class, we were drawing outside on the lake behind the Art Institute. And the teacher, it was a man, I don't even remember his name, came over with his pencil and he drew on my paper. <gasps> he said that to show me how I could better do the perspective. And I just shut down, mm -mm. totally shut down. It was mm -hmm. like, I guess that, you know, $15 is a lot of money. It's not worth it. I'm not worthy of it. And mm -hmm. I never took another class. So, and even in photography, I'm pretty much self-taught. That's wonderful. I'm glad that you got over those hurdles of no encouragement. And yeah, somebody who, I, this, that narrative is very similar in that a lot of people were discouraged at a young age, but then come back to it once they give themselves the agency to create. You mentioned John Lennon. Who are your um, inspirations artistically? Who do you look to for inspiration? Um, now, I think so many contemporaries. I mean, what you've done here in Evanston and bringing artists out of the woodwork, you know, that everybody's sharing and doing 
so that we have that opportunity to see and share. Um, and then through social media, seeing things on Instagram and whatnot, I get draw a lot of inspiration. I've met a lot of artists that way. Um, one of, it's been interesting is I, at this time where I've had time to go back through some of my archives and I see how many photos I have taken out of windows. And no. one of the first artist books I ever got was a book of photography of Ruth Orkin. And her, this wasn't a conscious connection, but her book is through my window. And she lived in New York as a young mother. She took all these photos out her window. And I had been fascinated by them. And somewhere that stayed inside of me, I guess. Oh, that's so beautiful. There's a, a Facebook group for artists called Outside My Window, where you're supposed to post a picture. And then oh, George up the street from me is painting gorgeous of just what's out her window, you know, like a junkie truck and a red house. And it's, right. it's so nice. Yeah, and Alice posted that for Evanston artists also to join in. And so I did some photos out my window that I submitted. Nice. Yeah, she's done a lot for artists here. She's wonderful. And she's really, um, she's good about creating deadlines and prompts and then groups of people together. I am so grateful that she's in this community. She's awesome. Right. Right. Well, Yvette, thank you so much for making time today and for letting us into your world and sharing your process painting. Well, thank you, Lisa. And anybody who wants to learn more about process painting, I also teach children process painting. I love mm -hmm. that right now that's difficult, but I, I love that because kids are free without judgment. They're not, mm -hmm. they don't look for meaning. It's just, they create and that's what it's about. So awesome. and for those who want to rediscover that, I'm happy to facilitate. I've been a mentor for some years with process painting too. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate your time.